On the drive here on hole at number five, this is uh, for option 1A and 1B. I will explain why I'm saying 1A and 1B. All the top spin and the P4 NMT. And then we are going to make an adjustment that is max plus 20 P0. This is um, just into the blue angle. So we make the adjustment max plus 20 P0. And then we shall go max left curl, max overpower with a slower needle. The intention here now is to get the long rollout, but there is a risk of having a shorter rollout, which mainly applies if you do have a great uh, right drive. And also if you are misreading the wind angle or having wonky pull or something like that, it, it, it can happen at least. If you have dead bounces to around 420 yards, you shall move to option 1B slide because we're playing a slightly different shot there. Still a good chance for an albatross, but um, we need to change a little bit because we will not be able to reach for the backdoor play that we are looking for on option 1A. Uh, but look at the video and you can see for yourself. On the second shot, we are going to do a top white ring fringe check. You can see there, ball guideline over the hole and white ring touching the fringe. All the backspin and half a bar of left spin. We are having our base here. That is plus four and plus five. That is then going to be 68% slider with a 65% elevation P5 numbers. And like I said, that's from plus four and plus five. We make that adjustment and I'm going to hit perfect and drop the shot. What we are looking at here when it comes to the tip of the ball guideline is to have a very small gap between the tip of the ball guideline and the cup. And I do think it's easier for me to turn the screen around because I can see it more clearly from there. You don't have to do that here. But I do definitely think, for me at least, it becomes an easier thing to do. Scan the QR code here on the screen or go directly to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy via the link that is in the description down below.